Um, your thoughts on that exchange there and what you saw in there today? Well, what we saw is the fact that Joe Biden is very much clearly has been lying. He said he didn't go and give classified information to his ghostwriter. He definitely did. They found classified information at the Biden Penn Center. They found it at University of Delaware. They found it in his basement. They found it in his garage right next to the Corvette. And in particular, I think this really cuts against Joe Biden's credibility because he stood on that debate stage and said he knew nothing about Hunter's business dealings. But now we see here where he lied about having the classified information, but very much he gave it over to his ghostwriter. So I would like to see his ghostwriter brought in. I think this is an important person to talk to. And I think uh, uh, Biden's not out of the woods yet on this. Yeah. In delving into Jason Miller's accusations regarding Joe Biden's alleged deceit and mishandling of sensitive information, one might infer underlying ethical lapses or a lack of candor. Miller's reference to Biden's use of a ghostwriter could signify his commitment to unveiling truths and holding political figures answerable for their deeds, viewing it as a logical progression towards fostering accountability and openness. Miller's remarks echo widespread apprehensions surrounding the trustworthiness and uprightness of public officials, particularly concerning matters of national security and dependability. The discourse could underscore the significance of accountability and ethical conduct. Within governmental roles, advocating for thorough scrutiny and transparency to confront claims of impropriety.